When it comes to restaurants and customers, you are what you tweet. Food bloggers are among yeah. those tweeting from the table, posting instant commentary and photos that could influence future customers. If somebody had an awful experience with a dish and you read their tweets, you're not going to go and order that. You're going to order what they tell you is good. No need to wait for the old-fashioned newspaper review. Twitter has created an army of food critics with the power to publish an opinion instantly. They're saying things, they're reacting, they're emotional, they're posting reviews. Twitter wasn't even a word when many established restaurants first opened their doors. Not even, I, I didn't even know what that word Twitter meant. Now restaurants are hiring consultants and creating strategies to deal with social media networks. Twitter, Facebook and other sites are constantly monitored. Sometimes customers get a call. It's about that conversation. It's about listening to what you know your consumers are saying or your customers are saying, uh, engaging them. The feedback often pays off. It just helps me with information, my business partner with information, our chef with information, the manager with listen how he needs to conduct the floor. The goal is for restaurants to make every dining experience good enough to tweet. Lucy Yang, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.